everyone, this is Lady Kungand Benihone here to show you how to make this pendant, which is based on a glass pendant found in the Han Hoard, which was found in a bog in Han, Norway. It is dated to the 9th century AD. So we're going to recreate this pendant today, and this would be a fantastic submission to Drybergen Summer Arts. Youth are invited and encouraged to contribute their arts as to the competition as well. So the things that we need for this, 20 gauge round wire, I'm using silver, two cylindrical implements for wrapping, for making your rings. You can use a mandrel, which is a, a jewelry making tool for making your different sized rings. I am using a pencil and this aluminum rod, just two different sizes. And then your wire cutters, so really easy. First step, cut two nine and a half inch pieces of your wire. Put one of them to the side. Now take your pencil and we are going to wrap this piece of wire around our pencil to create eight jump rings. Really easy. Slide those together so that they are nice and tight and all the same size. Remove that from the pencil and take your wire cutters and you're going to cut straight up the middle of this coil and you will have created the nine ring or eight rings that we will need for this project. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, and seven, and Eight. Nine and a half inches was just enough when wrapped around a pencil. I have very little waste wire here. Now each of these little rings needs to be closed up. If you take a look at it, it's slightly open. So just with your fingers, close that ring up, wiggle it back and forth so that there's no gap, and do that to all eight of your rings. Nice closed rings. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Take your other piece of 9.5 inch wire that you cut, and we are gonna alternate. We have nine beads, and we have eight rings. So first, a bead. Bead, and then a ring, and then a bead, and then a ring. Bead, ring. Where's the hole? There we go. Bead, ring. Such a simple piece of jewelry, and it's just really beautiful. Coming up on the end here. Alternate. Make sure that when you create your rings, they're not bigger than your beads. You want your rings to stay between your beads. Okay, so you started with a bead, and you end with a bead. Lovely. And there you go. And you'll need one more round implement. I didn't mention this, but you will. You, it's not absolutely necessary. But you need to shape your pendant now into a circle. So I have a glue stick here. And I'm just using that to create a circular shape for my pendant. There we go. Okay, now cross over your wires, one over the other, pinch them, and twist your wires together five times. So I already did one, two, three, four, five. Now you have a nice twist at the top. 
the finishing step is to make the bail, which is where you will string this onto your necklace. So take your other, your other cylindrical object and place it right in where your two wires cross. Wrap one side of your wire twice around one side of the mandrel and the other wire around the opposite side, one, two, both of those ending at the top. Slide that together so it's nice and tight coils. You can take it off your mandrel, snip these excess wires away. Again, not a lot of waste. And the last thing that we need to do is turn our bail so that it's gonna hang from our pendant because it's gonna hang like this when you string it on a necklace. So then you just turn it and you're done. And wasn't that easy? And you can find your documentation by searching for the Han Horde um, online. You'll find pictures. I'll share some. I'll share a link. Currently, the collection of jewelry is housed at the University Museum of Cultural Heritage in Oslo, Norway. So that would be a great place to look. Thank you.